So before exploring the API side of DIA, there's a few important considerations uh, within the front end of the system. This goes for most transactions that the API mirrors the front end where there are sections of a transaction, um, but it's most prominent in sales. So if we take a simple sale for a moment, which is uh, in DIA language, a sale that goes through uh, a single order, single fulfillment, uh, single invoice, then if we add a simple sale in the system, there's a series of header information, the client, the address, the warehouse location and similar, that's appropriate across the whole order. Then if we scroll down, there's a series of transactions down the bottom. So we have the sales order and then the picking of that order, the packing of that order, the shipping of that order and the invoice. All of those things have a difference per client, but they're all required to set through and complete an order in DIA. So while one client might mark an order picked and then go out to the warehouse and get the product with a pick list, others might authorize the order, print the pick list, and then come back and authorize the pick later on. Uh, to know exactly what you should send in at what point, kind of is client by client, but the important point here is that there are differences in all the tabs of information. That becomes particularly appropriate because when we look at the API, there's a number of different sale related calls that you can do both for get and post. So if we look at just a test API connection here, you'll see that if we look at the API version two, and scroll down to the sale area, there's a whole series of different sale logics, sale um, subcategories effectively. So you'll see here there is sale attachment, sale credit, sale pack, sale pick, and so on and so forth. They mirror all the different tabs of information here. There are some rules baked in within DIA, so you can't pack an order you haven't picked, you can't ship an order you haven't authorized, you need to have the stock to pick, and so on those will give you fairly uniform errors.